well, as I told Sam and Katrina during an instructive lunch I was having with them about stamps and so forth, I said, you know, for me, it's been like boiling a frog. You know, you put a frog in cold water and you just raise its temperature one degree at a time. The frog will never realize that he's cooking to death until it's too late. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, I uh, actually sort of stumbled into online in 1985 as a result of... Um, my, my side job, so to speak. I had uh, sort of slid sideways and developed an expertise in scientific computation. Uh, it's really easy to be an expert if there's only six people in the world who do what you do. <laughs> my position. But anyway, this led to my writing freelance for the computer press. And one day, Byte magazine sent me a uh, trial membership to CompuServe along with a software package they wanted me to review. They said, you know, we want you to check out the support forum that this, uh, this software vendor has on uh, something called CompuServe. They said, we really don't know what that is, but here's your trial membership. So can you go check it out? So I did. Well, this was before the days of the internet as such. There was no World Wide Web. No. Nothing. There were three information services other than the military services who had their own. But there was Genie, Delphi, and CompuServe. And CompuServe had a number of special interest groups which were devoted to you know, antique cars or gardening or, in this case, books. And so I went in to check out the software forum. It was there. And uh, I wrote my review. I had four hours of free connect time left. And this was back when they charged you 30 bucks an hour to be connected. <laughs> so I said, I'm not wasting 120 bucks. What else is in here? And so I poked around and stumbled into this group of people called the Literary uh, Forum at that point. We're now called the Books and Writers Community, but it's the same place, essentially. And these were you know, fascinating people who liked to talk about books and writing. And for someone with two full-time jobs and three small children, it was the ideal social life. <laughs> <laughs>